Hey everyone, my name is Sahil, and just a few weeks ago, I accepted Amazon's offer to join as an SDE intern this summer in Seattle. Now, if you've been on this channel before, meaning you've watched one of my other two videos, or you follow along on Twitch, where I live stream coding problems and various side projects, I've detailed a little bit more about what the online assessment was like, but what I wanted to discuss today was what the process was as a whole, including everything I did before even applying and everything that happened after the online assessments, which includes sort of the final round and getting the offer. Now, before I go on, in accordance with Amazon's policies, I will not be revealing any of the specific questions Amazon asked, nor providing specific feedback or telling you your odds of getting into Amazon or not. However, I will do my best to share my experiences and share useful resources that will help you in the future. So if you find any of this useful, or if you want to support a YouTuber who's only made three videos, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and drop a comment on what sort of content you guys would like to see in the future. Really helps me out to determine how I can best make videos for all of you. And with that out of the way, let's jump into the video. So even before going to Amazon, I had a decent number of side projects on my resume. And I think the key here is that I had projects that really used the same technology stack that Amazon uses internally, which I believe is namely like Java, C++, and Python. On top of that, I had used various Amazon technologies in my side projects like EC2, Elastic Load Balancers, and Route 53 for domain hosting, which were great conversation starters even in my final round interview as I sort of discussed some of my other projects. So before even applying, before even getting to the resume, ensure that you have decent exposure to what Amazon's tech stack looks like, including familiarity with their languages, and hopefully some sort of experience where you've used the languages to actually make something before. Yeah, oh, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I was reviewing this in post and it kind of sounds like I'm being a bit of a gatekeeper here. So I wanted to clarify, if you don't necessarily have experience building huge projects in Java or Python before, I don't think that means it's the end of the line for you. I would say Amazon is pretty holistic in their process, so definitely don't count yourself out. However, I will link some really helpful tutorials in the description below to help you get started if this sounds like you. All right, now the resume. I will link the exact resume which I used to get into Amazon below, along with a tool which I've developed which will hopefully help some of you guys be able to catch critical issues in your resume. Now, the best thing you can do to help your resume get picked up by Amazon is make it scannable. Again, if you guys use Glide down in the description below, it'll detail exactly what that means and how to do it. But the short version is that almost all of Amazon's recruiting process is totally automated, which means it's usually a machine that's scanning through your resumes, picking them out for online assessments and moving them on to the next round. Now, once you've gotten the invitation to some of the online assessments, first of all, congratulations, because you've gotten further than most candidates will in this process. Now, I know the online assessments can be pretty intimidating, especially some of the earlier ones, which have really low time constraints. But again, I would recommend to check out my other video where I've talked a little bit more in depth about what these included and how to best prepare for them. The short version is, that simply grinding lead code and reviewing Amazon's leadership principles is sort of the best way you can prepare. But again, highly encourage you to go over to that video to check out a little bit more about how to prepare for each stage individually. Now, one of the most commonly asked questions after the online assessment stage was something along the lines of, hey Sahil, uh, I didn't do too hot on OA1, kind of failed OA2, but still passed OA3. Do you think I have a chance at getting a final round interview? And again, I'm no Amazon recruiter, so I cannot personally tell you your odds, but I will say that Amazon tends to be pretty holistic in their review process, and I wouldn't stress too much about some of the earlier rounds. I think a lot of weight is probably carried with the final round interview itself. So again, don't sweat too much on OA1 or 2. I myself didn't do too hot on them, but I still managed to make it by. All right, now the juicy stuff, the final round assessment. Uh, for me, it was a one-on-one -on -one with an engineer at Amazon, uh, and it was essentially comprised of a couple behavioral questions, 
which were probably centered around Amazon's leadership principles. So if I haven't said it enough, review Amazon's leadership principles. And that was followed by a brief technical section where I was asked a medium leak code question uh, with a follow-up. Now for me, I think the key was really just answering all questions with confidence, which I know easier said than done, but going through this process a few times and rehearsing some of the questions beforehand is a great way to make sure that you iron out your nerves before the interview. When it came to the technical section, uh, I would say just grinding lead code was the best way which I could have prepared for it. Again, I would say it was a medium lead code question. I was able to get the first part somewhat easily and I didn't really get the follow-up, but I kind of discussed a way how I would approach it. And luckily we were pretty low on time, so the interviewer just accepted it and that was it. I know the recruiting process can be brutal, especially right now where most companies seem to be almost completely full but have faith in the process, follow the steps, grind out those lead codes, and you guys will be well on your way.